Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Forest River R-Pod 191. This is a pretty unique floor plan you have two twin beds in the front, big U-shaped dinette in the back, and a slide-out kitchen. Let's actually start on the kitchen. So you'll see right up top this one has the optional convection microwave oven, which is great because that way it's not just a microwave, but it's also an oven. Underneath that is the Dometic fridge freezer combo, stainless steel front cover. I believe it's 3.7 cubic foot on this guy. You see a little drop down freezer uh, action there. And this one does, it's a, a three way. So it does run off your battery, also propane and electric as well. Making our way a little bit further back, you see the kitchen itself. So pretty deep countertop. Uh, they did a pretty good job of taking a small space and making it as usable as possible. They did that by having a recessed cooktop with the glass cover and they gave you a sink top cover. So again, you do have some usable space here. Nice and easy, just lift that guy up, creates a backsplash, gives you access to those two burners. I like that they are horizontal, not vertical. It just makes it way easier to use. Also to the side, you have your sink, uh, you know, just a single bowl, little round guy there, high rise faucet. This can be used as a cutting board if you want, it's just not very large, uh, but more than anything, you can use it kind of as a drying rack, which I like. You'll also see an electrical outlet tucked away here. So if you want to put a coffee maker, you know, probably back over here, you're able to do that little bit of storage right up top and if we drop down you'll see two full extension ball bearing drawers perfect for all your flatware and everything else you need a little bit of storage there as well also if you are a pet lover you'll probably appreciate this not only do you get the bowls which you know is no big deal but more importantly you have a convenient spot in which you can store those as I mentioned, in the back is a U-Dinette, and I really like this for a couple reasons. One is it gives you a congregation point. If you have friends, family that are coming over to hang out, this is the place to hang out. Now, you know, you're probably not going to fit uh, four bowls on, or four plates on here by any stretch, you know, maybe two or three, something like that. But more importantly, you can sit here, play games, talk. If you want, you can drop this down into a bed. So if you have guests that are coming to stay the night, you can have them sleep here. Or you can have this as your primary bed. If you like to snuggle up, you know, it's two of you, no problem. You can snuggle up real close here. You also have an electrical outlet right down underneath. So if you need to, you know, charge any electronics or plug in a vacuum, something like that gives you a place to do it. Over to the side, you'll see you have storage there. And it's also worth uh, mentioning you have windows all the way around to let in a lot of natural light. Of course, your entrance is here. And as soon as you do walk in to your right is the TV. This is on a swing arm mount, so you can swing this around to the kitchen, swing it around over to the front if you want. It's connected to this multimedia center right up top here. This unit is Bluetooth capable as well, controls the speakers. Your control panel will be located up top. Underneath, you'll see some storage, and your fuse box slash uh, breaker panel is right down here. It's always good to know where that's at. Fire extinguisher by the door too. It's just about every RV you should have that. If not, you need one. Um, right up top, roof mounted AC, help keep you nice and cool. And then your bathroom is located off to the side. Now this is a wet bath. If you're not familiar with a wet bath, what that essentially means is that your shower and toilet are all in one. Uh, every, white, every wet bath is pretty tight. This one is no exception. You know, as you can see, my shoulders are kind of pinned on both sides here. Uh, decent leg space though for being a wet bath. You know, in all honesty, it's, I've been in uh, dry baths where you have less space when sitting on the toilet. Your sink is located there. You will see uh, here, you know, it's, it's kind of a tub filler is what they actually use for a faucet, but it works. And then you have your hand wands. You just pop this guy up. That will divert the water to the hand wand so you can shower. As far as height, I am six foot tall. As you can see, I can stand up in here. You don't have a lot of mo room to move around though. So it is a little bit tougher. Um, you probably want to sit down when you shower. And then you have the curtain that just goes across so you're not getting water all over the back of your door. LED light and then a nice big fan up there too. Taking a step back out, we move kind of up toward the front. So you'll see uh, this one is prepped for solar. You actually have solar prep up on the roof. So if you want a panel, it's nice and easy to install. That way you don't have to worry about having a portable one that you have to take out and put back away. Uh, tank monitoring panel is located right here. You will also see your thermostat right over to the side. That does control your uh, ducted AC as well as your furnace. You have a mirrored wardrobe. You can see your hanging rod there. And then as I mentioned, you have two twin beds right up front. So 
You know, if it's uh, if you don't mind sleeping apart, this can be your main bed, or as I mentioned, you can make that one your main bed, and this can be for guests or kids. You know, if you want to kind of turn this into a bunk model, it can be used for that. You will also see you have a little nightstand there, as well as a cubby hole underneath. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 RPOD 191. Up front is a powered tongue jack, making it easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. There is a light on it, as well as a manual override in the rare event the motor fails. Behind that, you have a single 20-pound propane tank with a cover. You will also see rails there for your battery. And right up front here is a propane quick connect. So if you want to hook up a grill, something like that, you have easy access to it. That way you can feed off your 20-pound bottle instead of buying the little green guys. Coming up the front, you will see diamond plating helping to protect the front end a little bit from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Of course, a fiberglass front on here. In fact, this is a one-piece fiberglass roof from the front all the way up top and down the back. That is one-piece fiberglass. That's great for a couple reasons. The main one being it's less chance for water penetration because you have less seams going across. Plus, if you take a look, because of the shape itself, water naturally wants to run to the front and back, so you don't have to worry about any gutters or anything. It'll help keep your campsite nice and dry. And with this uh, shape, with having that, that single piece, it's pretty common for these to be narrower, and the R-Pod is no exception. So with this one, a lot of times you can actually see on either side of it without having to get mirror extensions, of course, depending on your vehicle. You'll also see the windshield on the front, which is great. Not only does that make it look nice, but also it does add some daylight in there during the daytime. Coming around to the side, open this up. It is a magnetic catch and we'll open this guy. So if you don't have your own grill, if you want to use a cooktop, it comes with it, which is fantastic. So you can pop right into that uh, front connection I showed you there. You will also see that you have a water basin. This essentially is your faucet. You'll hook this up to the spray port right here. And you know, if you want to use it to wash the dog off or something, you can certainly do that as well. Uh, but the, the idea, the reason it's so close there is, again, so you can kind of use that as your faucet. Making my back a little bit further, you have an electrical outlet outside, which is always handy. Of course, fiberglass exterior, you get the cool frog on here. Um, cool thing about this though, folks, is behind this fiberglass is an Asdel composite. And that's a pretty big deal. It's great for a couple reasons. Uh, one, it is lighter weight. So, you know, anytime you have a smaller RV and you can save weight, that's a great thing. Also, it doesn't absorb uh, water, doesn't absorb any moisture. So that gives you less chance for delamination, where you start to see the bubbles in the fiberglass. And also, it uh, is a green material, so it won't have that off-gassing. Some RVs you go into in the middle of summer, you know, if it's 90, uh, you know, 88, 90 degrees, you're in there and it starts to smell really bad, that won't be the problem with the R-Pod. So definitely a great thing. Now, it's, it's a more expensive material, but it is a better material. If you take a look up very top there, you will see the power awning. It's a Thule power awning. It does have the LED strip built in as well. Uh, that's something that's a little bit newer for the R-Pod. They used to have manual awning. They have upgraded to the Thule in the last year or two. You will see the outside speakers as well. So if you want to listen to music outside, you can do that nice and easily. Black tank flush right here to quickly and easily wash out your black tank. That way you don't have to stick a hose down the toilet to do it. And on the uh, sides here, of course, are your wheel wells. Now, when the wheels come out, the actual width of this RV is still eight foot with the wheel wells. So if you're looking for storage, you want to make sure that you have that full uh, eight foot width. But you have the big, beautiful tires on there. Also aluminum alloy wheels. That way, you know, less chance for any kind of uh, rust or anything. And then over to the side, you have your two foldable steps. Again, aluminum tread, so it's not going to rust. Your grip tape on there, foldable grab handle makes it easier to climb on inside. You'll see this thing, it does say that it's uh, pet friendly. So right down underneath, you will see that's your leash connection. So that way you don't have to worry about bringing stakes and tearing up grass. Or if you know, you're on a concrete pad, you still have a place to put the dog. And then in the very back, take a look at that. Underneath that u dinette you have big storage. This back actually is passed through. You have another uh, door on the other side. Around onto the back, you have a uh, small little hitch. So they use it for a spare tire. If you want to take it off and put like a bike rack or something on there, by all means, go for it. You know, it'll probably be a smaller bike rack, like a two bike. You're probably not going to get a, uh, a, a four biker on there, but it's good for two. Also great for a spare tire. This is the same one piece fiberglass we saw up front and on the roof. And again, you have a rear windshield. Coming around to this side, so you have your uh, other side there for the uh, that pass-through area. 
Right down underneath is your termination. You will see your 30 amp detachable power cord plugs in right there. Cable and satellite a little bit underneath that. Schwintech slide out system. It is an excellent slide out system. A lot of people uh, don't care for it. It's gotten some heat over the years. They've done a lot of upgrades. The thing with the Schwintech folks, uh, and I'll tell you this with any Schwintech, it's not just our pod, it's any manufacturer that uses it. It's one of the best slides out there if used correctly. You have to make sure you have proper voltage. With the Schwintech system, you have two motors and they have to sync up when it goes in, when it goes out. So what you want to do is actually hold that slide button. When it goes all the way in, you'll hear a little woo, woo, and then it stops. So when it's all the way in, just hold it for another couple seconds. Same thing when going out, make sure you have proper voltage and you won't have issues. Right here in the slide itself is your outside shower. You'll see both hot and cold water access there. Then as we make our way up to the front, I do just want to point out you have another termination right up here. So you have one in front, one behind the axle. Ooh, speaking of the axles, it is a torsion axle on the R-Pod too. I definitely want to point that out. So uh, upgraded suspension system. You have your uh, fresh tank fill right up top here, city water inlet right down underneath, and then of course the other side to your pass-through. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Forest River R-Pod 191. If you're interested in this little guy and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.